Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, Dr. Elizabeth Hale. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Felder BB Show. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know that Dr. Hale is a dermatologist, and she's here to share the latest and greatest tips for and tricks for your younger-looking skin. All right, what you got for us, Dr. Hale? So we know summer's just around the corner with the holiday weekend uh, coming up, and the weather's getting warmer, of course. What I wanted to share with you was some... Uh, very interesting information from a study that was performed by Olay in conjunction with Harvard Medical School and a leading personal genetics company called 23andMe. And what they did in this study is they looked at women from many different ethnicities across many different ages and they took skin samples and they found that UV exposure or sun exposure was the primary factor in aging of the skin. They compared skin from covered areas like the buttocks to skin from the face, which of course is exposed every single day. And they found that the skin on the buttocks aged up to 20 years slower than the sun exposed areas, telling us that the best way to minimize skin aging is to wear a daily moisturizer with sun protection. All right, I'm gonna go to the age old question. Sunscreen, how do you determine the right SPF for you? So SPF refers to ability uh, to block UVB rays, okay? I, as a dermatologist, recommend wearing a daily SPF 30 or higher. But what's really important is that you find a, pro a product that also protects from UVA rays. Those UVA rays penetrate even through office windows, car windows, and they can accelerate aging of the skin. So you want to look for a product that offers broad spectrum SPF 30, and one that I like is Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream because in addition to that broad spectrum SPF, it also provides moisturizing. It has some ingredients like niacinamide, amino peptides to help slow down the aging process. How do we balance needing vitamin D, needing some sun, and being protected? That's a very good question that I hear often. So vitamin D, of course, is a very important vitamin for overall health, for bone health, However, I think it's a misconception that you need sun exposure to obtain healthy levels of vitamin D. We only get a very small portion of vitamin D from sun exposure. A much healthier way to get vitamin D is through a healthy diet with some vitamin D fortified foods like cereals and milks, some fish like salmon. And if you think you may be vitamin D deficient, the American Academy of Dermatology recommends speaking with your internist potentially about a vitamin D supplement. We think that's mu much healthier, and your skin should never be exposed to the sun without protection. Aside from applying the daily SPF, what else can we do to keep our skin healthy and looking good? So daily SPF is definitely a main way to protect your skin from aging prematurely, but it is just part of the picture. I recommend trying to stay in the shade when possible. I wear sunglasses every single day of the year, even when it's raining, actually. Um, and when it's sunny out, just try to stay in the shade, keep a hat, sun protective clothing on. And I think the whole idea is that you, you want to have fun in the sun this holiday weekend, but you want to protect your skin. So you shouldn't seek a tan. You should try to protect yourself and be in the sun safely. Okay, so you answered my last question. No laying in the, by the pool? <laughs> I'd say it's okay to be in the pool, but when you're not swimming, you should be in the shade. And even when you are swimming, it's a good idea to keep, of course, sunscreen on, even a sun protective shirt like a rash guard, perhaps a hat. You know, you want to just do what you can to minimize the exposure. 
but you can still have fun and be outside. That's radical, Dr. Hale. Thank you so very much. Where would you send my audience to find more information? Because this is really great information. Oh, thank you. So for more information about the study I talked about and for product information, your audience can go to Olay.com. Okay, Thanks for having Dr. me. Dr. Elizabeth Hale, thank you for being so smart. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you.